Thing today. We're hitting an incline here. But either way, it's day nine. So it's gonna be a good day. Feel really good. Really made a lot of great modifications to my personal care to feel my best. Taking a lot of smart people's advice about slowing things down and uh, baby stepping back to where I want to be. I had to tug on the reins today. I had to reel it back in. Could have very easily gotten out of control. Too much energy, too much spring. Right ankle stopped hurting. If anything, my hamstrings and quads were a little tight in the morning. Uh, use the Theragun to kind of work those out with some very mild stretching. I don't do stretching, like per se, like real stretching before I run. I do it after. Because so that's what the literature says. That's what the science says. Makes sense that a warmed up muscle will likely stretch safer and better than a tight, cold muscle where you are then susceptible to injury. So there's a little tidbit for you to take home because I'm going to keep this one short. I got to uh, do my stretching routine, get ready for work, upload this video, keep my body fresh. We got a long ways to go before we're where we want to be, but really do feel like I got my, um, a lot of the mental health aspects of exercise back. And now some of the physical, physiological, you know, body composition uh, benefits will, you know, be coming around the corner sometimes. That's what a lot of people out there lose patience with because they're exercising for weight loss or they're exercising to be, you know, lean or have a certain physique that they don't accomplish or they don't get and then they give up. Uh, that's one of the things for me is I just knew it was a matter of time. So I'm begin to uh, get some six pack abs back on the map. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Dr. Perlman.